Yo, what is up YouTube? How you guys doing it? Hope you guys having a great day. So today in this video, I woke up early in the morning trying to see if they dropped the new mini box. Now, not to excite you guys, but they didn't. So I'm excited for that to do come out, hopefully this week sometime. Because um, I there are some cards I definitely want to see in there. Um, but when I woke up this morning, I did see a couple of things that they added. So let's go ahead and show you the mail. Um, they have the, I wouldn't say a new event, but the event set sale for the kingdom has reappeared for Duel Links. Now this is the event if you, that you can unlock Yugi Moto. So if you have yet to unlock him, you can go ahead and get that done. I have unfortunately have been able to play that often, so I did not unlock him the first time they brought him out. So I will be trying to get him unlocked. Uh, they did add a couple cards, and I will be telling you guys about that. So just pause, wait for a second. Um, there is a known issue with it. You can go ahead and read that yourself. Some issues going on with episode 10 and 11. Um, and they also added a forbidden limited list. They have updated it and a skill balance that we're going to also be talking about today. So let's first talk about the set sell event. There's a couple cards in here that they added. Um, same thing going on, nothing different, nothing has changed with that. Um, when you go to the ocean zone, you can possibly get this card, not possibly, you will get this card for completing it. Bone Temple Block, discard one card, special summon one level four, or lower monster from your opponent's graveyard to your side of the field, and your opponent special summons one level four or lower monster from your graveyard to your opponent's side of the field. Those monsters are destroyed during the end phase of this turn. Uh, so you can play around with some uh, monsters, maybe they have some graveyard effects you can use to reuse them again when they go into the grave. You can obviously again, you can get Yugi Moto in the final duel zone. Um, I believe this is a new card too. Precious cards from beyond. It's a continuous spell that when you tribute summon a monster using two or more tributes, you draw two cards. Pretty interesting. Um, I'm not sure if this will use the same effect with like on um, Totem Dragon, um, cards that you can use two tributes as effect. Uh, so I'm not sure if that counts or not, but if it does, you can easily draw two cards. You also have Mila, I think that's how you pronounce it, the Temporal Magician, Light 1800 Attack Spellcaster, that when this card is normal summon, target one set card, your opponent controls, look at it. Your opponent cannot activate spells and traps in response to this effect. So what's really good is that can stop you from maybe going into a manning bug, which is a new card that's coming out in the new uh, mini box set. Maybe that can stop you from, you know, getting into a mirror wall, an enemy controller. Before really going in, you can kind of bait it out. Uh, when it's good that they can't activate anything in response to it. It's a light. Spellcaster 1800 so I will be trying to use this in my Spellcaster deck if you guys yet to see that Spellcaster deck on my last video I showed a Silent Chaos Magician deck that I've been using that I used from Bronze 1 to Gold 3 now so go ahead and check that out um, you also have Maha Valo I think that's how you pronounce it another, another light Spellcaster, this one has 1550 attack, and then this card gains 500 attack for each equipped card equipped to it. Pretty interesting because it's a Spellcaster, you can activate Wonder Wand onto it, and it would easily be 2550, just enough to beat Dark Magician and anything 2500 or lower. Um, Red Eyes, you can easily beat over it, so interesting. Not sure if you'll see play. There's some more cards in there. Um, but the one thing that did shock me was definitely the forbidden list and the, for, uh, the limited list. So we're going to go ahead and get into that and also the skill balance. So let's go into the skill balance first. Um, November 6th would be, um, this would take into effect. But they're going to change the creator and the balance effect uh, skill. Now, I don't use creator, so I don't, I'm not sure how that really works. Um, but the balance I actually use quite often. Um, I haven't used it really recently, but they are changing it. Um, what happens is a lot of times, and I've done it myself, um, I will add a lot of cards and maybe a few of a certain type of card. And the way balance works is they try to give you one of each um, thing. 
So a lot of times I would have a lot of monsters, but very few spells or very few traps. So then it's a really, really high chance that I'm going to get that in my opening hand or vice versa. It would be a lot of spells or a lot of traps, maybe very few monsters. So you make sure you get those monsters. Um, it's, it's not 100% guaranteed, but there's a really high chance that you were going to. Now they're going to change it a little bit. It says the skill detail text will change, would not change, but your starting hand will no longer be entirely predetermined by the number of each type of cards you have in your deck. So I'm kind of curious how that's going to work out. Pretty interested in that. Um, now, the limited and the semi-limited and the forbidden list. Let's go ahead and look into that. And this shocked me. November 6th, it's, everything is pending, but November 6th, you have limited now Champions, Vigilance, and Machine Angels Ritual. Now, I can understand the first one because I've noticed that the next set has Birthright. It's a, a trap card that you can special summon normal monsters from the graveyard onto the field. So if you have Red Eyes, Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, Neos, um, anything normal, big, you mill you send them to the graveyard, you can easily special summon them and then they'll have cards that you can use with them because they have them out on the field. Um, so they're gonna add Champion Villages to one and it's just something if you don't know what Champion Villages is, I'm just gonna show you guys, here you guys go. Really good card, especially if you run those type of monsters. Um, they're making that to one, so I can understand that. And they said the reasoning is because level seven or higher monsters can be easily summoned in the current meta game. This card is being limited to prevent duels from becoming one-sided. Yeah, once you get that monster out, you have a couple cards to protect it, and that's it. So next one is actually Machine Angel Ritual. Now, as you can see here, it even says even though they recently added GX to the game, they are limiting this card because Cyber Angels can be taking higher you know level plays it can be taking over easily um definitely seen a lot more definitely a deck that i wanted to play a lot more of and get more of the cards but now that i know that it might be limited it might be a little more tough this spell card specifically is a spell card if you don't know that when it's in the graveyard you can banish it and it would also protect your um, monster from being destroyed by battle or by card effects so by putting that to one that's pretty cool um so it does hurt the deck a little bit uh, i would say a lot but you, you're probably still going to see it in play you're just not going to see it as often and they have to be careful what they use it for when they want to banish it next card and the last card is being semi-limited is red eye spirit now i've only seen a couple cyber angels but going from browns one to uh, gold three i've seen so many red eyes and being this to two, I can understand that this deck has been very popular. Um, and being able to special summon a 2400 beater pretty quickly because you're using another card to send that to the graveyard is annoying. But now you're going to only have two. So it doesn't hurt the deck too much. You just only have two now to use. You can easily still get this card from your deck by using Red Eyes Insight. Um, and just you can't use three of them. You can only use two. So it hurts the deck just a little bit, but not too much. It's not going to hurt it where it cripples it. Uh, I'm not sure about the Machine Angel Ritual. I'm not sure if that's going to cripple it. I don't play the deck. I'm not sure how it actually runs. I lost two times out of it and haven't really played against it uh, besides farming it on um, Alexis. So let me know what you guys think about the forbidden limited, semi-limited list. Let me know what you guys think about the balancing of the two skills. And let me know what you think about the event that's coming up. What cards are you excited about? Especially with the new set that's coming out, the mini box. There's a lot of cards I'm excited for that I want to play around with. So let me know what you guys think about that as well. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel. I really do appreciate it. That makes me want to make have more content. Thumbs up the video. Make sure that tells me that makes sure that I keep giving you guys more content like this. Um, and let me know what you think down below what I should be doing more. Definitely when the new mini box come out, I will probably be doing a video for that too as well. So definitely stay in tune for that. You guys have a good day and peace.